yeah, the buses are hammered, man. Like, you, you'd be just chilling on the streets, looking at the buses go past, and you'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, picking mm. out the tags that you could see on there, you know what I mean? <sighs> Bad, though, like, I'm not talking couple tags. I'm on about every window <sighs> with different writers, though, not, you know, the same bunch of writers going on yeah. the bus. Yeah, yeah. And that, and that sort of stemmed from the late 80s when all them old boys used to write, and they yeah. used to hang out the back of the fire exit, you know, open the window, hang down, and bomb up the bus. <laughs> KillerKellerOfficial.com You need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top five, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller podcast. Okay, cool. Let's get into cool. it. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller podcast, live and direct. We are in Birmingham for a very special session. I don't play. I get around, you know what I mean? Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. I'll tie everyone with a television app. Um, switch on now. Boom. Bish bash bosh. Inside the room. Uh, yeah. Digbuff is the place to be. Uh, if you know Digbuff, you know the area of um, of Birmingham, then you'll know that uh, it's in a transformation, but c- constantly uh, rejuvenated with graph on such a heavy scale. And one of the characters that is unmissable around these parts and right across Birmingham um, is the man sitting next to me. NHS, AC, some inside the place. How are you, my brother? Respect, bro, man. All good, all good. This is nice. He is, man. Nice, <laughs> nice little chilled spot. Yeah. I'm, in the I'm, heart of Digbeth. In the heart of Digbeth. <laughs> Explain it in, in, in more specific terms, because to say it's the, in the centre is an understatement. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, this is it. This is the heart of, of, of Digbeth, really. All around here is bombed, isn't it? You've seen it yourself. Paintings everywhere. There's not much more to say about it. Just, just anyone coming to Birmingham, just walk around here, you'll see it, man. See how battered it is. It's a radius, isn't it? Of, yeah, 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 and yeah. and it's a block of nothing but wall to wall graph. Isn't yeah, it? I'd say so, man. You probably got, I don't know, mile square, maybe mile and a half squared, just just full on graph everywhere. That to anybody that is not into graph would just be that's like someone's worst nightmare. But when you put it in, when you put it in, a lot of it, a lot of a lot. Yeah, you know, it's not like isolated. It's. It's almost like an exhibition space of just burners. Yeah, that's it, man. You see people doing little street tours around here. You see, I don't know who they are, but I've seen little groups of people walking around and someone's pointing shit out to them. And yeah, someone's making money off us. That's what it is, man. <laughs> yeah, someone, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone yeah, yeah. is, yeah, yeah. Yeah, gentry, you need some compensation for that. At least pay for the paints. Oh, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to do, though, man. But you were saying that it's actually, it's not legal. Technically, ah uh, no, I don't. I don't think it's legal. I think there's parts of it that are legal, but for the majority of it, I just think people just paint there, and, and and anyone else will just turn a blind eye to you doing it. Really? Like if you just walk around here, you'll see, you'll see, you just know that oh, that can't be legal there. But people just turn up, paint, go home. Really? They yeah, just... yeah. And I think because it's dig birth, people just just allow it. You know what I mean? That's it's all good. It's all good. Just let let them be, man. You must have seen this come to its to its to its own over the period yeah, in which course. it started. Were you around in the beginnings of when Digbeth was and Custard Factory, which is the other area, which is, I used to do gigs in Custard Factory. Yeah, yeah right behind you there, man. That's the Custard Factory. It's bonkers how much yeah. the whole area has changed, but you must have seen yeah, it. Yeah, I've seen it I've seen it from the start to where it is now. And I've been around for some time, man. Mm. And um, yeah, in the early days, there'd just be a few tags around these sides. Mm. And then I think you've had like people like Gent, and Nuso and Tempo and a couple of those 48 like sort of push it and push it and, mm-hmm. and then it's the graph shop first come here the bench they started the graph shop here and then obviously from there it's just sort of leaked out hasn't it people mm-hmm. coming to get paint and writing around the area and yeah. then over the years 
there's been a lot of disused factories that have been getting hit. Then mm. the factories get knocked down and get boards put around them. And once the boards are put up, people paint the boards. They're just uh, they're fighting a losing battle. <laughs> the, 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 the council or whatever it is around here, it's just just non-stop, man. Uh, do you, do you, I mean, you, you explaining that to me is just like, yeah, oh, this is an utopia of, of just, you know what I mean? But Because it's, it's a rarity, isn't it? You don't get a lot of that in many cities. I, I, I wouldn't say so. I don't know, man, like... I don't really go to the other cities to see the graph scene apart from London. Where why would you? Why would you go anywhere else? Like, it's all popping here. Uh, yeah, it is. And I, I think anyone that comes from other cities and sees this think, oh, yeah, man, it'd be sick if we had this in our city. Mm. You know what I mean? But, but to be fair, in the same sense, a lot of writers in Brum don't like painting Digbeth. Especially mm. a couple of years ago, people just got bored of painting here. Coming up here every weekend, hitting the boards or hitting the factory that's been hit a hundred times before. Mm. And then, uh, yeah, so what people just started... More like the active writers come away from writing in Digbeth, you know what I mean? Mm. And then, you know, the part-timers like myself would just come up here and do a little little painting here and there. Is it therapy for you, Sam? Like, do you feel like... Do you feel like when you're not painting, you're missing something? Nah. Really? Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm not active like that, you get me? No, these days, no, it's me just coming out to paint just to sort of de-stress and That's the get one. me get away from normal life, mm. get away from my responsibilities and come out, link up with the lads and a mm. couple of beers, couple of, you know, paint for a little bit, man. Must feel quite fulfilling. Yeah, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I, I, I don't care now about getting out and getting up and doing all that shit. I've done it. I've been writing 20 odd years, you get me? I don't 20 need... 20 years in the game, I don't come need on. To, to... I don't... Not even about need to, it's just I don't want to. I don't yeah. want to be out there doing that now, you know what I mean? I'm not... It's not me, man. Not you know, so can you see like, the, the, the game change in terms of, you know, the illegality of it? Like, I'm, I'm really urging towards the story of your days gone and like the, the kind of mischief you got up to but can you see that the, the the night and day of it and how it, you know or is it your attitude that might have changed to you know the approach you both you know but obviously my attitude's changed because i've grown up more got more responsibilities got kids got misses you know mm. all that game of growing up yeah. you know what i mean and then in the same sense i don't know man it just feels like graph in 2021 is a lot more accepted than Graf was, say, 15 years ago. It's or, true, isn't it? you know, 20 years ago when we would be walking around, looking around, dropping a tag, quickly looking around again, yeah. making sure we weren't, we weren't seen. Yeah. And these days now, you know, there's people that just go around and do not care and they'll write everywhere. Like Medic, Medic from Bromia, yeah, shout out Medic. Time, he Medic. don't care, man. He is writing anywhere in the city centre, bombing up, you know what I mean? And I think, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just think people just accept it more these days. <sighs> Where does, that, where, where does that come from? Because it's funny, because I was talking about, about this with panic. And it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cultural acceptance. Yeah, yeah. But then I think to myself, I wonder what the extreme is. If this is the new norm, then how do you take it to the extreme? <sighs> What's the extreme? Maybe doing roadside dubs in the daytime that would be the extreme wouldn't it <laughs> and stuff like that but but people are doing that as well like, I don't know man it's without just, a care no one, yeah, no yeah, one's yeah. batting an eyelid people don't care I don't know I, I, don't, I ain't got the answer for it man I don't I just don't know how like I said man 10, 15 years ago it, it weren't like this yeah. Digbeth was around then you yeah. get me but it weren't like this and even like you come out of Digbeth and it's battered all around here is battered mm. in a circle of city centre Lupo everywhere fucking Skeng is up everywhere, you mm. know, there's loads of them. Yeah, I've seen them, man. I've been walking around, but, you know, it's hammered, man. And yeah, even now, when you, new as well. when you come new? more out of the city centre and you start going into the other areas like Small Heath and Kings Heath, and they're still battered, they're, they're hammered, man. You've got Kings Heath High Street, it's battered. That's insane. Battered. Small Leaf, Green Lane, Cov Road, Corsair's killed it, it's tags everywhere, man. I see him, I see some of his piece, things that he gets up to. Yeah, I'll he's on no it as well, man. But yeah, yeah. he's... Uh, yeah. I don't know, man. It just, uh, right now, in, in, in this day and age, graphs everywhere, man. Yeah, everywhere. Birmingham. In, in Birmingham, I'm talking. I'm not talking of a city, so I don't know. But mm. right now, here, it's, it's, it is hammered. Probably mm. the most it's ever been battered. And it was battered back in the day, but, but I, don't, I wouldn't say it was bad as much as this. But, but what I would say is there's not as many people writing now. You think? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. There is not. I was a kid, yeah, in school, and everyone tagged in school. Okay. You get me? Kids in school now don't tag. Mm. They don't tag now. They haven't got an interest like no that. No one tags in school. When I was in school, and people around me that went to different schools, everyone had a tag name in their school. Whether they was super bombers and was mm. going out every day tagging, 
you know what I mean? But whether they was just tagging on their school books and desks or whatever. Everyone tagged in school. I don't see that now. How many writers? I mean, this is... I could never... I would lose count in London. But in Birmingham, on that statement alone, how many, how many writers do you think there are in Birmingham that you would say, yeah, these guys have been doing it from day, or these guys are doing it and getting up now, these are youngsters? How many, how many right approximately? Now? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't tell you. Too man. many? I don't know, man. Like I said, I don't think there's as many writers now than compared to back in sort of like 2000 to 2004, mm. five, them, them days. And then it sort of went off for a bit. Uh, but I think everyone wrote back then, man, especially in areas like the city centre weren't as battered mm. like it is now. But mm. I mean, in, in areas, you get me? Mm. Everyone tagged. I don't know what it is now. Social media, PS5s and Xboxes, you get me? Everyone's just probably not out on the streets like, like we used to be when I was a kid. Because that was the thing to do, weren't it? Yeah, yeah. And, and you know what's more interesting is in the wake of platforms like Instagram, like where you see nothing, but maybe it's just our algorithms picking up all the things we're watching all the time. <laughs> yeah. but, but like all I see is like graph and the progression of it. The same with beatboxing, the same with DJing and club mixes. I, I think it? I think with Instagram as well. Instagram. Like a lot, some people hate Instagram, but then there's other people that love it, and I think it's, it's it's great. It's a great thing, man. It's it's made people connect all over the world, mm. especially myself. I've like the amount of people that message me and mm. obviously you see my Instagram it's we just, wouldn't be here talking if exactly it yeah yeah I wouldn't have a clue about Birmingham and what's going on at any point I know I know a lot of people don't like the social side of graffiti you know what I mean like people don't need to go and travel these days to see paintings like I had to when I was a kid you get me I had to go and catch mm. buses and that but in the same sense it's 2021 and it? it's not going to be the same like nah. that. everyone's got a camera phone mm. it? everyone's on social medias Mm. Everyone, you, you just got to evolve will be extinct, and it that, that's what it is. That, that's what it is, and it evolve it's, it's 2021. Extinct. Deal with it, man. This is this is life now. I'm feeling everything you're saying. I feel like people that are entering entering into the scene right now are picking up on things that, like you say, social media is probably their first port of call. Oh, Get their piece done. Doesn't matter if it goes in 20 seconds because they got the flick, exactly. they got the video. I know, yeah. I think dogs, I think, I'm sure it was dogs. As long as you get the photo, that, that's all that matters. Yeah, hold tight, dogs. Something like that. Yeah, I yeah. think it was dogs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Instagram has changed the game in, in a sense of yeah. people seeing it. Like, like, look at myself, for instance. I'm not a, I'm not a big bomber. I don't go out bombing or painting or, you know, now and again, but I've got... Loads of followers mm. because people just like what I'm writing. Actually, that's a really good point, actually. Yeah, good good, good segue. You have got a lot of followers. You've got different accounts that are doing a lot of different things, haven't you? So I've got my Handstyle account, yeah. which is handsome, and then I've got yeah. my other one, which is what I'm po- which I post my, my paintings on, basically, yeah. which is obviously not as big as the other one. But How did the other one pop off so much? Oh, I couldn't even tell you, bro, man. That's I don't know. bonkers, isn't it? I just... I, I don't know, man. Just say that you just bring you guys up to speed. I mean, this, this ain't no trickery. My man's... He'd been doing it for a long time. This this is some some freak of nature moment where now you've got an account where you literally could just do tags and it gets peppered yeah. with not likes. I don't care about likes though. No, no, it doesn't that don't bother me. Like I don't care. I don't care if I've got two likes on it, you get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the whole point of that, that account is is it's more like a business account, you get me? Yeah. So I've got a massive yeah. following on there, yeah. I've got to use that to my advantage, you I get me? Like, bro, yeah. Because why, why wouldn't you? Who wouldn't? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it, so that 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 to me is the business account, and that's why I don't post none of my paintings on there or none of you know the local stuff that I do, and I don't follow no one on mm. there either because it's not for that. You get me? My other account is the one that I, I, I sort of talk to, talk to people to mm. and follow people. You get me? And and that one's the one to just spread my name across the world and people like what I do and people can get people do get inspired by my tags on there people all the time message me and say yeah rare, 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 you know? bro you've been sick from day like and how savvy is that that you've you've got two accounts that operate in two different worlds in two different for two different reasons and it pops it's fucking yeah, G yeah. It, it weren't like that at the beginning that was no. my account you get me and then I don't know I can't even tell you man it's just just started going off and it and, and then that's what I try to tell people all the time I even try telling myself sometimes it's really important it's nice to be important but it's more important just to be prolific yeah yeah just prolific keep, on Instagram just <laughs> keep moving yeah like it doesn't matter about the numbers 
the worst thing you can be doing is like overanalyzing your movements based on what you think. Yeah, You're trying yeah. to beat the algorithm. Yeah, Don't bother. Yeah, nah. Leave it. <laughs> but, but coming back to the original point of, of Instagram, it, this is what I'm saying. That it's it's good that we have social media because of interacting and connecting with people all over the world. Mm. All over the world. It's beautiful. I did an Instagram Live a couple of months ago and people from Hollywood were on there and like on Instagram Live and you can... Um, you know, go on live with that person. And the guy was there showing me the Hollywood sign and that. And sh- you know what I mean? And he's talking to me direct and, and I'm just saying like, this is what's good about the social media side of things. That's that, where incredible. you can connect with people like that. You know what I mean? And you can talk to and build up like a, a good friendship with people. I know you, I know there's guys from LA that I talk to. I'm never going to meet them, but mm. you know, we can talk to them on a level. You get mm. me? And, and that's what's good about that side of, of Instagram and whatever, Facebook, Twitter, you know what I mean? It's so true. It's You've so got to roll with it, innit? You've got to roll with it. You've got to roll with it. And the other thing is the history within the... It's like going down a rabbit hole, like meeting you, Tempo, Corsa, Zuki, yeah. Kratz. Like, I mean, the list goes on, you yeah, guys. Yeah. And it's not so much as like, you, you probably don't see it in the same way because on the outside looking in... You, you, you could have like the picture there of the Instagram, but it's when you actually walk up to the piece and you see it with your own eyes. I've had that a couple of times and I've just jumped back and be like, that's that picture I saw the other day, but I'm actually in front of it. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I had that moment the other week, man. I went and seen what uh, Tempo and Sway did. Mm-hmm. They, you know, they've been doing these big productions. I don't know if you've seen it on his thing, on his page okay, and that. Yeah. yeah, and I went to see it the other day. I was like, yo, this is sick. Mm-hmm. This is better than the photo. It, it was proper yeah. sick, man. It was massive. You can see the time and effort they put into it. You get me, like the, de- the attention to detail. On that yeah, shit. yeah, exactly. On the photo, you can see it, and yeah, it looks sick. But when you're there in front of it, and you're looking, you're like, you know what? They, they smashed it on this one. They've done a proper good job. Because because p- pictures can be deceiving, can't they? You can you can style out a shot based on an angle. Yeah. When you come close to it and you see it, for it's like, oh yeah, it's a bit <laughs> wide. It's a bit bonky. It's yeah. a bit. Da, da, da. You know what I mean? You, you're dealing when you're face to face. You're dealing with the raw, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. Um, let's take it back. Let's get to uh, let's get into the meat and veg. Where did it all begin, brother? Where did it all begin for some? <sighs> Borsley Green, man. That's where I grew up. So right. of course I grew up. Of course it was probably the only well, not pro- no, he wasn't the only guy, but he was the the biggest bomber back then. You get me? He was everywhere. And then uh, I can't tell you how I started. I don't remember. It's too long ago. Really? Yeah. That long ago? Yeah, yeah. Talking like '96 and it them mm. times, little kid. But um, so of course I was from the same area in it and and. I used to chill with one kid who wrote, who wrote as well. I used to write Chrome. And his next door neighbours were good friends with Corsa. Mm-hmm. So Corsa would come down to theirs. And we got into graffiti. And, and the, the, there was terraced houses and there's an alleyway in between them. And Corsa would bomb this alleyway. And it's my mates next door. You know what I mean? <laughs> so we'd be in that alleyway just looking at all the tags. Like, oh, no, what's this, man? You know what I mean? Yeah. We're only kids. You don't know what's going on. But yeah, then through time... Corsa, we met up with Corsa, you know what I mean? And then ever since known him, since C- Corsa is like Corsa is like the DNA of fucking everyone's graph journey, man. I know, and I, I know every time I watch the, the, the podcast and that, and everyone talks about Corsa, I think, oh, you know, we want Corsa to talk about himself. Corsa, but, yeah. but you can't not talk about Corsa mm. because if it weren't for Corsa, mm. my generation wouldn't exist. At all, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know what I mean? And his, it's hard to to put on you know it's hard to say exactly how much he's done for the scene because he was at the time uh back then he absolutely smashed it you know mm. and he was probably the only sort of real you know only one that was bombing there was mm. other people that that wrote like Zuki for instance but he tagged as well but he weren't as up as much as Corsa mm. and then obviously Corsa then inspires my generation and the generation after that and after that you know mm. what I mean yeah, so, so of course, uh, you've got to just put him on his pedestal, and yeah, you know what I mean. He's, thousand percent. He's, he's done. He's paid his dues. You can't not respect what he's done because mm. he's done it all. You get me? But it teaches it you. It teaches. It teaches the next generation what the 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 the, the compass and the reference points. The, he's the DNA, and yeah, yeah. Like you say, it was such a young age when you met him. Yeah. So what was it like? How was that integration when you started painting with, with Corsa? Like, how old so, were you then? I would, I would have been 12 or something when I met Corsa. Damn! Yeah, I would have been a kid. He was only a, he's only a couple of years older. So, you know, you're not, yeah. you know I mean, you're, you're a fully grown man and that. He's just, yeah, he's a couple of years older. Mm. But, but yeah, and then over the years, because he's from the same area, mm. 
you just constantly see your stuff and mm. then you're copying uh, and and yeah it is biting you bite the style that you see that, that you're influenced by it's everywhere you get me I'm from the same area as him so that's all I can see until then Subway Art you know we got our hands on Subway Art and and then started looking at that and mm. trying to develop more of a style uh, but yeah he's always been around he's always been there and he's always been there the proprietor of the, the Birmingham style yeah 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 and that's that people talk talk about the Brum style yeah, there is yeah so it's come from him yeah and I don't know whether well I'm sure he said before to me that he got it from London mm. so when he used to come to London all them times but then he he took his, I don't know elements of what he was seeing in London brought it home elements of it yeah and that then, 90s look yeah then exactly yeah exactly and then obviously he's done his thing mm. and then that then inspires me and after me and after them and until we get to these days now, where I don't think there is <laughs> that Brum style now. No, no. It's saturated now well, because... There isn't, there isn't. I know what you're saying, but there is certainly a... St- or maybe there's more of a definitive... It's either London's got a, a style of its own or Birmingham has, but there is a differentiation between... Yeah, I, I'd say so because, like, you know, he's done what he's done. I've done what I've done. Mm-hmm. Then after me, you know, Pacer, Forms, mm. Page... Else, arrest. Big up forms as well. We met yeah. him in the shop. Fucking yeah, great. Big up forms and yeah. pacer, man. Oh, um, tight. You know, and all these other writers then just do what they're doing, and it just slowly just changes, don't it? Yeah, let's uh, let's stay on you for a second here because uh, your contribution to the graph scene over here was just vast. You went in. Yeah, at, at, at times, and then drifted back out and back in you get me it's, mm. it's, I think it's all part of the growing up and it you know I, I've always painted but I haven't always tagged and bombed you get me drifted mm. in and out of stuff because other stuff happens in life don't it mm-hmm. and started going out started doing all that stuff mm. didn't really concentrate on graft too much mm. then come back to it faded out and there's then. something about graft that I love right and I'm sure you, what, what you're getting at here is something that resonates with you and probably a lot of people is is it's it's part of a street culture um, it's part of your street culture DNA yeah yeah 100% yeah. I just feel like if you're into that shit then have your tag and know how to use it yeah 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 isn't it you know what I mean yeah 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 then it'll yeah. always be with you yeah it is it's like riding a bike isn't it yeah once you know how to do it you don't sort of stop I know there's there's writers that, that used to write back in the day like Image for instance Big Up Image yeah, not the London time. Image I'm talking about the one from Brum ah okay and um he used to write back in the day but he's done what he's done and right now he's still got an interesting graph mm-hmm. he still writes on paper and stuff so you know what I'm saying once you know how to do it it doesn't leave you man even if you're not a bomb or you're not out painting you still got it, mm. and, and a lot. I know loads of people from from when I was younger that don't tag no more or paint, but they still write on paper. Mm. They just can't get it out of you. See a pen, piece of paper, and I drop a tag. People underestimate that transfer of paper to ball, wall to paper. I think it's a, there's a skill in it in itself. It's quite. It's yeah, and I don't think enough people do it these days. So important to get that transfer yeah. all right. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think enough people practice mm. these days. This new generation. Again, leading back to Instagram, seeing Instagram. Well, that looks easy. Mm. I'm gonna do that, and it ain't easy, is it? It's yeah, not. fuck the contrast, fuck the color schemes, fuck the yeah. fuck the straight letters. Let's go for a wild style, and it's like, yo, chill. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> chill. Run before you can walk, <laughs> and it because you know everyone who's been painting or tagging for a long time knows you got you got to master the tag. Well, not even master it. You got to be able to tag, mm. and then move on to the next yeah. throw up, and then move on to the dubs. And then go on to your pieces, you get me? Mm. And then if you want to be brave and do wild stars and crack on in it, but mm. at least do the, do the steps before yeah. you, you jump into the deep end. There's not many people that are going from, oh, yeah, look at that, and then bang, doing a big piece. Yeah. There's no one doing that, is there? Nah. And there's not, man. And that, that's, that's the biggest failure, I think, is people with patience. They need, need patience. Yeah. You know, repetition yeah, yeah, is yeah. key. Because, you know, like on Instagram, I get loads of people messaging me. Oh, how do you do that? How, how do you do that style? What, any tips to, for my tags to be better? And I'm just like, I just tell everyone the same thing. And it, it's practice. Mm. You, don't, you, you can't do it overnight. You know, I've been tagging for 20 years. <laughs> don't come overnight, you get me? Yeah, yeah. Don't come overnight. And obviously, you've got to be inspired by what's around you or what you can see. And don't copy it. Be inspired by it. That's the biggest 
that's the biggest hurdle for a lot of people in, a, in a, any creative space is that where's the line drawn on plagiarism and like copying yeah, so yeah, hard isn't I it know. I know I seen a thing the other day what Tempo put up you might have seen that as well what's he say like, someone from France was writing Temp and oh, it looked yeah, exactly oh like his thing <laughs> You yeah, know I'll, what I mean? I'll put it up on the screen and you see it, but it's fucking bonkers. Like, yeah. that was just like out and out biting. Yeah, but I get it as well, man. People, the other week, someone from Mexico sent me a photo and said, like, have you been here? And dropped this tag. And someone had copied my tag exactly the same, yeah, and wrote it on the street in Mexico. That's fucked up. I'll show you the photo afterwards. And Bro, you'll be like, raw. You'll have to send me it for but these that, guys. But this is another good thing leading back to Instagram again. Get me? It's mm. Mexico... I'm from Birmingham. Someone from Birmingham, someone from Mexico, has seen my tag, and dropped it up in Mexico. Fair, yeah, you know what I mean? It's crazy, bonkers, isn't it? Isn't it's isn't mad. It? It's mad. And and it's. I don't care. I don't care if any copies me. I don't. So that's what I'm trying to do that. now. I don't give a shit, man. I'm too old to care about that. Still forget <laughs> me. I don't care. Like yeah, man, be inspired by it. I don't, you want to copy it, copy it, whatever. I don't care. You know, there's about a million people, right? Some <laughs> these days. You get me? You got two in London. Yeah, that's yeah, right. You know yeah. what I mean? But I you don't know care. what though? You know what? This brings me onto a question I've always. I had it in my head and it's it's okay it's one thing not to be bothered about it and obviously there are there's always going to be other names where do you find those unique names where do you find yeah, those there's, there's not many is there, there isn't nah unless you got like the mad names like like the, I don't know Crutz that might be a, might be a name that not many people would copy but then you got stuff like Corsa mm. but loads of people copy that mm. Tempo mm. Sum mm. Plan mm. Obey yeah. There's loads on their page, yeah. you know, it's it's quite hard to have that unique tag unless it is a unique word mm. and not many people might might write, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just, it's a tough one. Oust was a another one, Oust London, Oust, Oust London, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that that Instagram page, that um graffiti courtroom, they constantly put stuff up, don't they? Mm. Of names against each other sort of thing. Uh <laughs> you're gonna find it everywhere. Yeah. You'll you'll always find someone. Oh, I'd, I'd say so, that's got the same tag as you. I might just add as well that when you think about it, graffiti courtroom or not, it's um I think it kind of it, it's it's kinda of cool that there are some names that are the same. And you look at the difference in styles from the country country or area that yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's based upon I think that's kind of cool yeah yeah it is like, 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 I, like I said I get people messaging me all the time on Instagram is this you is this mm. you is this you and they've, they've been from all over the world that's amazing do you know what I mean America yeah. Australia Germany yeah. I'm sure there's a guy in Germany that writes some and NHS really yeah there's a big crew in Germany called NHS and there's a writer called some you know what I mean like it's, it's not about biting each other or copying each other yeah, it's, it's just, just coincidence it is, and yeah. it's just it's one of them things, man. And I can't, I just don't understand how people can take, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, ownership? No, not ownership. Like, when the, oh, man. Offence? Yeah, that's the word, man. I've, yeah. How can you take offence to it, man? It's it's one of them, isn't it? I'm with you. It's one of them. Just do what you're doing, man. Crack on with it and let them crack on with what they're doing, man. How did you get into NHS? It's one of them, the, the crew, because all my friends were put in it at that mm. time as well. And um, like I said, I'd known him for, he'd known me anyway and obviously saw me getting better, my mm. style getting better. And mm. then he's like, yeah, man, put NHS up. Yeah. yeah at mate. the time, that was big. It was a big thing at the time. Yeah, it's you big. I mean? It's big now, boy. It's a big crew, yeah. It's a big crew. <laughs> like all the sort of, you know, everyone who was up was in it at the time. And AC as well. Yeah, so Kaza put me in AC a couple of years ago. Um, but yeah, I, I, I want to just say, like, I'm not in AC because I'm all city, because I'm s certainly not all city. You get me? I, I don't want to take that sort of that that title of being up everywhere because I'm not. You get me? I'm not. But yeah, no, because there was that's cool admirable. with Cosa. You get me? And you yeah. know, he'd been down here a couple of times, and he was just like, yeah, man, put up AC, put up MZ, and then, like I said to you earlier, meeting up with Sample. Sample put me in TGS. Hold tight, Sample. Yeah, big up Sample, yeah. Tipsy, or the TGS crew. Yeah, um, yeah, hold tight. Yeah, and and. Because you're on the level, isn't it? Yeah. The people, you meet up with someone, you see it on the level, you know what I mean? If you're it's on the level, them. you're on the level. It's one of them, isn't it? Yeah, yeah man. So I don't, I, don't, I don't tend to put them crews up too tough. Yeah. Uh, but I do now and again, you know what I mean? It's one yeah. of them. Uh, yeah, man. So shout out to them boys, man. Mm -hmm. Big them up, man. It's a route to passage, isn't it? When you've got crew names underneath your own name like that. Yeah, yeah. Yo, like... And you'd be hanging out with them. So it's kind of yeah, yeah. It's only natural progression that you get the name, but that doesn't always mean that you've got a yeah, or you are naturally that way inclined to to be what it, 
it says on the tin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a tough one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Did you feel like there was a pressure for it? No, not really. Yeah. Nah, maybe just if they were from the, the same city or yeah. whatever, but it's just one of them things, and it's just branching out a bit, I'd say, mm. you know, like trying to get the crew up in the next city. Yeah. Which is like what happened with NHS, mm. because that started here. Zombie took it to London. Crazy, yeah. And it split, and then you've got... I don't know what happened then. I don't know what the history is of NHS in London, but it's at where it is now. You've got dogs. There's a big, big figure in it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, you know, I, you don't see zombie putting it up no more. I no, don't think really. so. really. I don't know. But, um, but like here, you don't see the guy here put it up very often, mm. which was meth. He don't put that up very often, but I'm sure it was meth and, and zombie that started it. I'm sure it is, man. But yeah, then it just... Corsa took it over mm. and then Corsa did what he did I fucking love it and what I do also love is that relationship between the cities like you were yeah, saying yeah. the uh, I come out of the station and I see a 10 foot then I see a cross I see a bass I see it and it's yeah, like yeah. this is wicked I yeah, love man. it and you it, the world is getting smaller yeah it's good to see and it like two to different you know writers from other cities linking up like you just touched on then Crutz and Baz uh, Course has always had that affiliation with the DDS lot. You yeah, know me. Um, yeah, it's good to see, man. And that was a big inspiration back in the day when when Zombie and Kaza came up to here. It was I like, remember Rah! this. Yeah, like this is like '99, I think. I remember was. the pictures. I remember seeing the pictures. Across and the and then that was like the next step of inspiration yeah. as a young writer looking up to to what's happening. Mm. And then like, oh, they're the London lot, and then, you know what I mean. And then like, Zombie sick, Kaza sick. Zonk, he was another one, man. Zonk, Zonk came, came through as well. well. He nice. came up a bunch of times. I remember coming up on the train the first time when I did a gig and I saw Zonk on the track sides. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. There was uh, the course of Kaza Zonk stuff. And yeah. then, like I said, Zombie come up. And you know what? When they come up in 99, I was about f 14, I think. Your mind must have blown. Yeah. Because like I said, going back to the, the relationship with Corsa, linked up with Corsa, and he's like, yo, I'm with these. And I was like, oh my God, you know, we're like, zombie, you know, and Corsa, this, this is them boys. Oh, shit. And uh, there was me and my pal at the time who used to write Tremor. Uh, me and him, we linked up with Corsa in City Centre. Mm. And we went to Selly Oak with them. Yeah, and we're two little kids and we're with these boys and we went to Selly Oak and they're painted in Selly Oak. I don't, you know, Zombie probably would never remember that or Kaza, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, I've met all with Kaza plenty of times since then, but they probably wouldn't have Big up that Kaza. was me. Big you up Zombie. Me? That was me back then. Yeah. Yeah, I've um, got a shout out, man, these are my yeah, people. Yeah, big up them lot, man. Yeah, uh, yeah and we did a thing, I, I didn't paint then, but them lot all did a thing in Selly Oak and then it's mad, yeah, because of course I must have gone somewhere and... I think he was going to get some paint or some pens or something. And he left them with us, two little kids. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> He's like, yeah, you say with these lot. And uh, we couldn't find him. And, and we ended up going back into city centre. Me, my pal Tremor, Kaza, uh, Zombie, and I think you come down with Onek. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was... Whoa, what happened to Onek? Big up Onek. Yeah, I, you know, that... C4. C4, yeah, that's yeah. right. And oh, uh, we man. went back into the city centre with them, like, with them three. And uh, we was, I remember just waiting. I'm, I'm a kid, remember that. Like, I can't really remember it too tough, but I remember just be, I remember being in town and we're just waiting for Corsa, just waiting mm. for him to appear. And then out of nowhere, we just there. We remember, no one had phones back then, so you couldn't phone someone. It was just... The just, struggle was real. Yeah, it was just like... Well, we're just waiting here because yeah. it was like a spot in time where people would just meet off. You get me? And he just appeared out of nowhere, and he was, there was must have said like, "Where you been?" And then yeah, I we, we got off. Me there. and Tremor got off then and left them to it. You get me? Mm. But yeah, that was a mad little story, man. Kids, fourteen, fifteen, I was man. Fifteen years old. Fourteen. Yeah. And these guys, I don't think they realised the, the impact that they ha had. Like, it's just no, probably not at that time. No, yeah. no, probably not. No, nah, probably not. But but here, it's that style because it was similar to that style, weren't mm. it? It's the Brum London, the DDS style. Mm. So that was what we looked up to. That style, mm. that bombing, that raw. Mm. You know what I mean? That just just vandalising mm. style. Coloured dubs as well. Coloured dubs were. Ah, uh, yeah. The thing as well that them like used to do was they do the the chrome and black dubs, and then they do the the. A fluorescent outline I don't even remember it like a yellow like a fluorescent like yellow pinks, shit like that greens, yeah. oranges I can't remember what the year might have been it might have been about them early 2000 mm. years but but we were seeing that here mm. and so then we did it here we was like 
That is popping them dubs off, man. Because before that, people just go around with chrome or white and mm. that, but the, 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 the fluorescent. The fluorescent was the jam. And I remember seeing um, Zonk once. For me, Zonk was the first person to do that. I, I mean, in my mind, I know that's probably not, um, not completely correct, yeah. but I remember seeing Zonk ones and they were just so powerful. Like... That one tempo's done. Yeah, yeah, thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. The fluorescent really pops, pops off, them off around, it? Don't yeah, it? man. So that's what we would be doing back then, just just getting the fluorescent paint and then doing your final border around them, mm. you get me? But uh, yeah, another sort of inspiration from London, that yeah. was. So from that point there and that that development of your style and your journey into graph, because I, I, I've... We've brought this up before on the Birmingham episodes. So big up all the regulars. But hold tight, Zuki. Hold tight, Tempo. Oust all the guys that have been on before. Um, one of the narratives... Oh, and hold tight, Shaq as well. Cause Shaq yeah, actually, big up Shaq. Big man. up Shaq. Because he actually brought this on up pretty hard. He was like, you know, it is about bridges. not really about trains. It's not really about track sides. It's a lot yeah. about... It's about roads. It's about r- rooftops here and there. Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah. Flex. We can, I can touch on that because... When you compare the cities, Birmingham and London, you'd be able to tell me more, but I'd imagine in London, the public use the underground quite a lot, don't they? Yeah. You get me? A lot. Yeah, Here, the trains, and, and, and I'm sure a lot of people will vouch for me, people don't use the trains that much. People do, obviously, yeah. but I mean writers and stuff. Got you. Probably don't use the trains as much here. Mm. So, growing up, the trains weren't really the thing, mm. I'd say. No... There, there wasn't really a massive train scene here in Brum until like about 05 when the TR boys got involved, Midas and Prove and them like, they mm. started doing the trains quite hard. Right. But uh, but for me growing up, I weren't really interested in trains. I never caught the train. So why would I be interested in it? Because I would never see anything, yeah. you get me? So, I feel you. And then that's a lot of, that, that, that goes for a lot of people from my side of Brum, East Birmingham. Mm. The train weren't the thing, really. Like people didn't really catch trains too tough. It was more of buses. That's what the buses was the key oh thing. God, buses yeah. were absolutely bombed because uh, that's what like, everyone got. got on. It's hard to it's, it's hard to grasp an image, let alone in your head, but on the internet because everyone talks about the Birmingham buses being bad. You go online. The busing, the busing companies don't want you to know how much of a battering nah. they got because there's none online. Yeah, there's none. Nah, there's, I've got an old, I've got one photo, yeah. and I'll show you that afterwards. Um, but yeah, the buses were proper bad, you know. Really? Yeah, like you'd get on a bus, every window would be tagged or scratched on, and all the panels at the top, coarser with this like mad staining ink that he used to bomb. So when they cleaned it, it was still there anyway. And it looks purple. Yeah, big, big, yeah. The, you know the ink, oh, man. Everyone knows the you ink. You know, you know. Yeah, the best ink out is when that yeah. purple equal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, just what the fuck. When they that's clean the, it, it's still purple. It's still what there. the fuck ink. What the yeah, fuck's that sick. ink? Corsa and had some special <laughs> recipe for that, man. Mm. <laughs> I don't think he let on too tough about it, what it was mm. exactly. But yeah, the buses are hammered, man. Like, you'd be just chilling on the streets looking at the buses go past and you'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, picking right. out the tags that you could see on there, you know what I mean? Bad, though, like, I'm not talking a couple of tags. I'm on about every window <laughs> with different writers, though. Not, you know, the same bunch of writers going on yeah. the bus. Yeah, yeah. And that, and that sort of stemmed from the late 80s when all them old boys used to write and they yeah. used to hang out the back of the fire exit, you know, open the window, hang down and bomb up the bus and... Yeah, it must have stemmed from there, you know what I mean? Because like I said, it was a big form of transportation for a lot of people, was the bus. Big up Doc Scott at this point when we're talking about hanging off the back of the bus. I don't know if you had this story on podcast, but nah, drum and bass DJ Doc oh, yeah. Scott, he was hanging off because he used to write. Okay. And he was on the top deck, yeah, yeah. hanging off, like you were saying, and yeah. he fell off. <laughs> oh, came God. off over and over a bridge. Oh, God. He off. You guys, I mean, there's some sort of like stuntman agility that used to go on back then. I don't know. Mm, yeah, I never hung out no windows, man. See, me, I ain't going yeah. on no fucking window, man. But, <laughs> but yeah, people did. You'd have like the crazy kids that would do that sort of stuff, or you could get your hand out the window and, and right on the, you get me? Yeah. On the outside of the bus at the top. Yeah. Or well, when buses pulled up, people would bomb the back of the bus or the side of the bus. Yeah, big, big thing buses were. Not now. You see a bus now. Yeah. You've yeah. got internet on buses now, haven't you? Internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bear cameras. You're looking at the, <laughs> looking at the graph rather than doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Bang yeah. out the truth. I mean, that the way you explained it was so passe. It's like, I guess it's no different to if a train ride. It was doing a train, but like here, this there is a there is a cultural attention. There was a 
attention to trains specific um, buses, buses specifically yeah, 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 yeah. and that's the thing in, and in contrast to the rest of the country you guys were very much about and, that. and maybe again because we were younger so no one drove yeah. you get me no one had cars I'm talking from that sort of age from like you know 12 up until 19 maybe mm. you know uh, yeah and obviously people would still be writing but uh, you know what I mean no one drove cars no one was old enough to drive cars no. so and a lot of the scene was kids yeah it was kids which yeah. you don't see now because maybe the buses could be bombed because mm. a lot of writers now are older. Coming and back from school and shit like that yeah, back yeah, in the day. Yeah, that's exactly, yeah. exactly that. Yeah, going to school, coming back from school. Mm. And you know what I mean? But um, and, and this is the thing, because kids aren't writing these days. Maybe that is why buses aren't getting bombed. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. But yeah. Yeah, there, there were good days, man, bombing the buses. Um, rooftops, would that be another thing? Bridges? I mean, we're above a bridge now. I haven't heard one train go past, which actually does... Does depict yeah, this is the main line. This is into Moore Street. This is I ain't fucking heard nothing. I mean, no wonder <laughs> no one uses the bloody things. You know what I mean? There's no point in you. But but there are other ways to skin a cat, particularly in town. Going around, I guess I'm I'm taking it like back in the day. It was it was more about the bridges and the, the rooftops yeah. and the the, the street streets. bombing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. People did write on the tracks. There was a lot of like the south side writers that were more interested in the tracks. I would say uh, compared to the east side of Brum. Because the Birmingham scene, I, I think, sort of over the last 20 years has been sort of split by East Birmingham and then you've got the South Birmingham, which is Selly Oak and Kings Heath and yeah. them writers there and us. And you, there's not many writers from North or the West of Brum, to be fair. Mm. Well, I don't think so anyway. Um, not yet. Yeah. So not the, yet. Yeah, the scenes were quite different. You know what I mean? They had yeah. that style that they had. They had, they had creme. Uh, Krem mm. was the sort of the guy that a lot of people looked up to yeah, yeah, over yeah, there yeah, 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 yeah. and then on the east it was Corsa yeah. and then Krem and Corsa were in the same crew FKS with T-Bone Zucky and Fuel yeah, whole um, all them original man yeah they're, they're the lot that you used to look up to when you yeah. was kids and then the lot before them like Atiski and Bitski uh, Meth mm. yeah but yeah you could see the the, the, the the style change from the south to the east because Fantastic. You had two different figureheads yeah. that people looked up to for inspiration, Corsa mm. and Krem. Mm. Yeah, man. Mad. Yeah, last time I was here, I, I, I think I had T-Bone, Corsa and Zuki all in one shot together. Yeah, the Godfathers. Yeah, I was just like, my mind is fucking blown <laughs> yeah. away. Oh, wait, yeah. yeah. They're still friends. They yeah. still roll. Yeah, they're still good friends, man. Yeah. FKS, aren't they? All day. Yeah. Yeah, and then that's what it's mad in it. Corsa again, Corsa got this FKS crew, and then he's got NHS, and then he's got INS. AC. Then there was DBT back yeah. in the day. Um, DBT, yeah. DBT was diabolical bombing tactics. Jesus, like he was just relentless. Yeah, like, and that yeah. was a bit of a south and east crew mixed up. He had a lot of the, the Selly Oak writers and Kings Heath writers and Sturchley, and then there was writers from over my neck of the woods that was also in that crew. See, I, I I put him in as an, as, a, as an acquaintance of mine, but in the first meeting, one thing anybody meets Corsa for the first time, he just seems constantly unsettled. <laughs> so the idea of like him being, no, I'm bored now, let's do another crew. Like, okay, no, no, I've got yeah. an idea, let's do this. Bro, he's like, it's like an ADHD, like he's you, a fucking don. You don't him. know how many tags that guy's had. <laughs> really? I'm, gonna, oh, I'm not going to say the tags he's got, but <laughs> oh he God. has had... <laughs> A lot of tags a and guy. got them all up. And I'm not talking up a yeah. little bit. He's got them all up. And anyone who knows the Brum scene will know exactly how many tags Corsa's mm. had. Yeah, He's just not settled. And that's what that's the beauty of some of the best writers is like, they're not thinking about how many numbers. Again, going back to them, it's not about how many numbers you got, who's interested. It's not about that. It's about, a, it's an itch that you constantly want to scratch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bonkers, isn't it? And that's like me though. Again, we had all different tags as well around mm. my area I've had a number of tags and other people have had more than one tag mm. you get me but I don't really see it these days as much yeah, I'd say yeah. Yeah, I don't think people sort of flitch yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, yeah 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 no they kind of they stick and stay loyal to their own one don't they yeah unless I think you see the trains and the trains don't seem to have their tag on yeah. you know what I mean their name they always switch it up for the trains don't they it's funny actually funny I was talking to Arrow last night and he informed me about some of the aliases that were in NT. Okay, yeah. And yeah. I was totally yeah, blown away. Like, yeah, I didn't realise how yeah, many yeah. of them wrote different things. And I, I guess back then it, it was it was a thing. Yeah, but yeah. It's actually nutty when you think about it. It's nutty when you think about it. Um, yeah. 
it's starting to rain. Yeah, I thought I was just Did like you a feel that? tiny drop of it rain might, too, it man. Might, it might just pass. I can't see nothing pass. on. Yeah, yeah you see that. Yeah. So we 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 we're, we're closing in into the fur, final furlong. Um, <laughs> what's the future, my brother? What is the future for for Graf? Yeah, in Brum, but more specifically the, yourself. For myself or yeah. for the Brum scene? Yeah. With you included in, in yeah. yeah. Ah, for me, I'm, <laughs> like I said, man, I'm, I'm part time, man. I just come out now and again. But I think the Brum scene looks like it's moving in the right direction. Yeah, man. This is, it'd just be good to see more people writing, yeah. more people coming up and writing because it's sort of the same scene. You know, there's been people that are, are appearing, like there's a noise who's just behind you. He's, he's quite active at the minute, man. Mm. AFS, he's getting up quite a bit. Uh, and he's just yeah. popped up on the scene. There's a couple of his boys. Um, yeah, there's Oust and Asbo and yeah. these sort of younger Epic. lot. Epic's a oh, he's been doing it for a while. Yeah, yeah. Epic's been but around from me. Me and Epic really went the same though. school and that same really? class and that. Yeah, he's from Borsy Green as well. And he's the, yeah. another one that grew up with Corsa around it. But he took a little break and come back years later. There's a lot of people that have done that. Chaw is another one. Chaw, yeah, Chaw's done the same thing. Back bombed in, it, come, come back. Took a break, come back. You know what it is. Bombed you, again. You know what it is. For people that are outside of Birmingham, especially like some myself, who's just a you know spectator, yeah, the, yeah. the timelines change. The timelines are different. So when you say oust and noise, for instance, yeah, I can see because you can see, you can see a certain age to what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you see like epics and you like, pop out of nowhere, it's like to me, I'm like, oh shit, yeah, new guy. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> no, it's not, man. The timelines are fucked. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people that I don't know, man. You probably put it down to. Growing up in it, yeah. grow up, do the thing, do that rat race crap. You know what I mean? Yeah. Job, kids, exactly what I'm in now. And then yeah. they come back. Does that um? Does that? Okay, this is this is a, this is like an expensive question to ask. So I don't expect you to. You you could tell me to fuck off if you like. Yeah. It's not spicy. It's just expensive. <laughs> does does having kids, the nine to five, the the, the dog, the house, the car, the da 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 da. Is that, is that a sacrifice in your mind? Is it, is it something like, is there anything left in you that you'd be like, oh, I wish I could just go and fucking bomb the shit. I was like, all right. Yeah, all the time, man. All the time I'm constantly, you know, when I'm driving, I just look thinking, oh yeah, I'd love to tag that, tag that, yeah. tag that, tag that. Paint there, paint there. Da, 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 da. Yeah, always. But I'm not gonna. No. So it's, it's more of a resistance. Yeah. You don't, you, you choose not you get, to. I talk about myself, like, but I've, I've got too much to lose. I can't get nicked mm. painting bombing you get me you can't mm. do that um and it probably goes for a lot of people everyone has everyone's got that urge to still go out painting mm. and tagging and bombing because there's nothing better than it you mm. know what i mean there's mm. nothing better going out bombing everywhere coming the next day and seeing it all it's sick mm. it probably only happens now when i'm lagging or something kind of night out <laughs> when i've been around these sides but um nah yeah it never leaves you no it never leaves you man all the time constantly looking and, and a lot of people will probably say the same thing that inactive now but you still spot stuff you get me oh that's a sick spot there oh look at that little sneaky spot on that rooftop mm. there you, you just you've always got that eye for it you know what I mean you've always got the eye and as much as I'd love to be out again bombing rare 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 it's just it's not me now life's changed life does change doesn't it yeah it does man and it's but, a constant and I get why you're saying you know you want the young people back just you know at this interim of, of the scene development because that is what gives you the the it, what you did was it in vain and yeah, yeah. this thing is uh, it's an organism that just is, is going to continue moving it's a nice thought isn't it yeah 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 man yeah, yeah it'd be good look, but like I said this, this scene's moving in the right way mm. it's battered it's mm. probably the, the, the most it's ever been battered in Brum at the minute you know, mm. everyone's doing everything, track sides, trains, except for buses, <laughs> track sides, trains, roadsides, rooftops, you know, people are on it, man. People are, mm. they're, they're definitely carrying the name. And I saw um, uh, UK Frontline, big demo, they oh, put a post up the other day line. about hand styles, who's got the best hand styles. You might have seen that post. It's like, so super important, man. It's like Brum, London. I think it was Manchester. I can't remember the other city. That's right. But there was loads of people on there bigging Brum off. You yeah, know, yeah, like yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, Brum yeah, scene's yeah. quite, it's quite strong at the minute. You get me? People there was all back in it. You got me? They're all there, like yeah. There like, was I, back in it, man. I certainly noticed a, a huge kind of like Ford, you know, a, a big nod from Birmingham when I started doing the podcast here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That question, the the, the loyalty and the and 
there's just there is just such a unique style and scene here. That so I, I'd like to say the scene here is quite a good scene. It's a you know, from great what I'm scene. seeing, like I said, I'm not active in the scene, but I'm around the scene still. Mm. I still speak to people who are fully active, mm. uh, and I'd like to say the scene here is quite a good scene. It you really know, I think is. A lot of people get on with each other. There's mm. not much beef in mm. the scene here. I, I, that's what I would like to say. And mm. people might prove me wrong because there is a few, few people. Oh, it's that, beef you want, is it? Yeah, <laughs> there's a few people that probably don't see eye to eye. But you know, overall, I, I would say it's a good scene here. And, and From I think what it's I'm quite, seeing, quite tight, tightly knitted. You yeah. get me? Uh, and people all. Speak to each other. Yeah. People from my side will speak to them side. It's a vibe, I mean? isn't it? Yeah, it's, I I would say so. But but then again, like I say, someone might come prove me wrong and say, "No, nah, we fucking hate that. <laughs> we hate that scene. We hate them. Like we hate that crew." Rah, rah, rah. Um, Spare the comments. And it's below. been like that though for a while still. Like five years ago, to, to about 2014, actually about six years ago, the scene here was sick. Man, mm. everyone was on the level. You get me? There was no. No rivalries mm. or anything like that. No one had beef with each other. And they used to do the graph battles here. Mm. Uh, and everyone everyone would be at that battle. And there'd be no fighting or or people beef kicking like off that. with each other. Like All the broom luck was, was all on the level. And it was a good place for people to link up and, be, and, and make that connection with other writers that you might not have made a connection with previously. And a lot of the old writers went to these battles as well. That's so, so like, cool. You got like the OGs, like my dad was yeah. there and bass and the ADS crew. And then there was the NHS crew there. You know what I mean? You had a lot of NFA were all there, 48. Everyone was together. You know what I mean? It was... Because everyone knows it's, it's a small city. Mm. We all know each other, really. You know what I mean? The 48 crew are killing it, man. Yeah, big gen, gen M, man. Yeah. Viner. Serious um, levels there. Yeah, they're killing it, man. Wow. But yeah, it's a, I'd like it's to say It's a great so. scene. It's, a, it's moving forward, yeah, yeah, yeah. And hopefully more writers start getting involved and, or new writers, should I say, start getting involved and doing their thing and yeah. let's see how it goes, man. You know what I mean? Keep it moving, brother. It'd be good to see you, innit? Thank you so much for joining us, man. No it's worries, been a fucking man. pleasure. Yeah, yeah. It's going to uh, big some people up, man, because I know Do people it. are going to message me like, I'm going to have a big knee up, man. Get that big up going, because it's Obviously, tell you. there's my boys, NHS, Obey, Plan, Page, House, Arrest, Corsa, Clears, Epic, Tempo, Shack. It's a big crew, you know. Yeah, NHS that's is a serious. Broke. Uh, yeah, it's quite a big crew, you know. Mm. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. It's big up my lot, isn't it? Yeah. Unification, yeah, no, man. Pay sound forms. There are other no, other people that are in the same crew. Mm. Yeah, man. Big everyone up. Big up the scene. To be fair, yeah. seems to be moving in the right direction. Just keep it going, man. It's a pleasure representing it on here, and it's always yeah, a pleasure man. being here. Yeah, it's, it's big respect to you for for coming up to Brum and giving us a voice to 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 let people know about us. Because I've always thought. We was always in the shadows, Birmingham was, you get me? But we've got a good scene up here, man. We've Great got scene. good writers. We've got Music scene's popping as well at the moment. Yeah, Ooh. popping off, JK, big up JK. Yeah, all day. Um, yeah, man, so big up you for doing what you're doing as well, man. Respects to you for coming through, my brother. Cool, bro. Good vibes. Safe, man, safe. Close to Sun podcast, definitely. The sun's come out to join us. We're out like, in our fashion. We're going to have a look around here, take a bit more of Digba in. Sharing is caring, people. You not to do tell a friend to tell a friend. We don't do it for any other reason than that. We can't do it without you, all right? Don't talk to anyone or I wouldn't. You stay lucky, people. That's my son. Cool, bro. Safe. Peace. Yeah.